guess what? My hands are dirty. It's been a crazy day, you guys. And I just want to say thanks all you for all the support on my uh, Little Blue Heron video. Thing pretty much went crazy for a little while. But anyway, um, all day today I've been uh, over at my buddy's house, Tim Dottilio, working on the, the flatbed, fixing up the truck. And I'm using this stuff called KBS um, Rough Seal. Do yourself a favor, don't get it on hands because it'll never come off. So I just got home, Sarah went for a bike ride with Remy and we're gonna make a little dish that you've probably never seen before. <laughs> you've seen it before, Tebow's crazy. He wants to be on YouTube. Them there's hominy grits. Shrimp and grits, really, really easy. Gotta crank this thing up high. We're doing the entire dish in this pot right here. I've got some applewood smoked bacon. I've got some shrimp. I got some onions and I got some original Everglades and I got some basil. I actually made this the other day and thought, holy cow, I've got to make a video doing this. So we're gonna throw our, our bacon right in there and wait for it to start cooking. Okay, so that is five pieces of applewood smoked bacon. This is about a quarter of a Vidalia onion. Put that right in there. Good old sweet Vidalia onion. Love them. All right, now we're just gonna take some regular Everglades. You can see it's not seasoned real heavy, just enough to really bring it to life. So we're letting that cook down. And so many of you probably don't even know what grits are. Grits are made from corn. So you have the kernel of the corn, like the yellow part of the corn, that little white tidbit right down at the end that, that goes, to the, uh, goes to the cob. Well that, when it's dried out and beat up, is what you make grits out of, omni grits. All right, so now this is getting really close to being done. So we're gonna throw our shrimp in there. Pick the heat back up. We're gonna let this start cooking. Yeah, these are just diced up. That's about three quarters of a pound of frozen shrimp. Although it's not frozen still, it's still really cold, but it's not totally frozen. And I just diced them up but I do believe they need a little more seasoning. I mean, if you, if you guys live in the South or you just want to try something new, don't just take grits, throw them in a bowl, boil them and expect them to be really good. They do have an acquired taste. Now, if you have never eaten grits in your entire life, you don't even know what they are, but you were to come over here and eat these, you would think, wow, this is really good. So, try it. Our shrimp, bacon, and onions are all pretty much done. Now it's time to add our water. Throwing it right in there, right on top. That's six cups. And what I need to do is wait for this to start boiling. We need this to come to a boil. Now typically when you make grits, you would add butter or a little bit of oil. Because I already cooked that bacon down and rendered the bacon down, I don't need to add any fat. It's already ready to go. And you've got six cups of water, you've got one and a half cups of grits. And please look, these hands, I scrub them with um, lacquer thinner, mineral spirits, alcohol, a wire brush. It ain't coming off. So I know it's not coming off my flatbed. Yeah. It is kind of disgusting, but whatever. I'm hungry. All we need to do is we have to wait for this to come to a boil. All right, we're looking good, folks. 
we have got our water boiling. Now, there's six cups of water boiling. This is one and a half cups of grits. So we're just gonna throw that in there, just like that. Now we're gonna make sure it's stirred around nice. Okay, all I want, okay, now that it's coming back to a boil, I wanna turn it down to a simmer, low heat. Like that, cover it up. We're gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. It's been right at 10 minutes and they're looking good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna turn the heat off. This is really the, the consistency that I like. I love that. It's not too thin, it's not too thick but I just turn the heat off. Cover them up, take them off the heat, let them sit for five more minutes. What that's gonna do is that's just gonna allow them to relax, thicken up just a touch more, and then we're gonna finish it off. If you guys live in some other country, which I'm so stoked. Actually, I wanna mention, um, Has some more names in here. Um, who else was I talking about? Mason003. You commented on those spring rolls. They were amazing and hopefully you get to cook them. Syed Sean. You're from Birmingham, England. What do you guys eat over there that's similar to grits? I mean, I don't know. Tell me. You guys leave a comment. Jamie Swisher, you're 11 years old and you say you're my best fan. Well, Sarah and I love it and we really, really appreciate it. Here's, here's somebody that has really shocked me. Ken Piper. Your comment, I, I had to just sit down and think about that, but your comment, I appreciate it more than you'll ever, ever know because most people can't see the other side of the fence and they can't appreciate people. And Ken, Thank you so much for the wonderful comment. I totally respect you as a person, and I thank you for being a fan and subscribing to the channel. Um, Douglas Huddleston, calling us genuine people. We are genuine. This is really what we do. I mean, we were tired, we just wanted to make a little video. I know I'm gonna be fishing for the next three or four days out in the lake, so I'm not gonna have, to make have time to make a video. I wanted to make a video tonight. Um, I really didn't feel like it, but I wanted to mention all of you guys. So if if y'all have something that you make like this, leave a comment. Tell us about it. Tell us what you eat in your country that's similar to this, and we will finish this up. This is ready to go. So all we do is take a bowl, try to get some of the good love. Got to get some of the love, some of that bacon, onion. That's sure. all I want. Okay, right there. It's all Sarah gets, and then. To Finish hers, we're gonna take some shrimp. I know my hands look dirty. Every time I look at them, they freak me out. But we're gonna put some shrimp, some cheese on there. And then we'll take a little pinch of basil. Mix that all around. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Ready to watch over some guys. Alright, let's see what it looks like. You gotta mix it up. See, you gotta mix up your basil, your cheese. It all comes to life. So those of you who don't like it or had a bad experience, try this recipe. This, oh my god. Big pieces of shrimp. Hearty. You taste the smoky flavor from the smoked applewood bacon. It's got like a little bit of a smoky flavor. But you can taste the basil. The basil definitely has that fresh herb. The onion sort of has an underlying onion flavor, but it's just when you're eating it. I can't really taste the onion. The onion is sort of like that baseline flavor that just is smooth and 
Well, if you don't like onions, still put it in because you can't you, taste yeah, it. It's not like an overpowering onion flavor. It's it's just this is like a really good wine. You just can taste it. And so many flavors come out. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna finish up eating the kitchen there. I mean, there's nothing to clean up. And then we're probably gonna go watch a movie, chill, sleep, and we'll see y'all soon. I will make a video of us bass fishing out on the lake. Show you just some real basic stuff. Who was it that said, asked about basic fishing stuff? Somebody over in Saudi Arabia wanted to know about basic fishing. I'm gonna look you up. I know your name's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna look it up. And this weekend I'll do a nice video for you. Thanks so much. See you guys. Subscribe. Subscribe.